Hey guys, Jay here with HCJ Custom Wraps. So we are working on this Camaro for the Sacramento Chevy dealership. Customer brought it in. This is a Hot Wheels edition uh, Camaro. And the uh, hood, roof, and trunk have like a solid stripe on it. Well, the, I don't know, the sun must have burnt it or they didn't take care of it. But it is very not pretty, to say the least doesn't look good it looks fully sunburned and so I suggested peeling it off redoing the whole thing customer does not want to do that they don't want to spend the money so we are going to basically wrap over it now the problem we have wrapping over it is that the Sun has burned it so a lot of times with, with vinyl depending on the vinyl you use if this when the Sun starts to burn it it all of a sudden creates like texture it's almost like clear coat starting to flake up texture wise because what it's doing is especially on the gloss it's basically burning the, the over laminate over the top of it and if your vinyl ever gets to that point it should have been taken off well before that because once it starts to burn it really breaks down the glues and tries to attach to the paint and then we have issues taking it off and it creates a whole new mess so you know you got first off you got to take care of your vinyl like armor on your dash you know like condition it condition it you know remember these are stickers we're putting stickers on your cars so if I wrap your whole car it's like a gloss red it's still a sticker you have to condition it in order for the Sun not to dry the sticker out think about newspaper if you put a newspaper outside on the ground and you let the Sun cook it for like two days and then you take a fresh piece of new paper and put next to it there's going to be a difference because what it is, the sun is sucking the moisture out of the material. Like the sun discolors cement. So anyways, difference, you know, long story, you know, maybe a different video for that. Anyways, we're working on this Camaro. So it's really textured. They don't want to peel it. So we are going to do a thousand grit wet sand. So I, I brought it up to the manager at, at the Chevy dealership and he said, well, what happens if it, you know, what if it doesn't work right? I said, well, in that case, we just peel the vinyl off and then the, we just have to do that. So I wouldn't really suggest anything that I thought was gonna really damage anything, but this is kind of the solution because if I wrap over a texture surface with vinyl, it's gonna create more texture. And maybe inside the shop, it doesn't look bad, but in the sun, you're gonna see all that texture. So I went ahead and already and already wet sanded the hood. Still got a little bit more to do on the stripe on the hood, but it pulled that texture out very, very well. Very well. Um, still gotta do the hood, I'm sorry, the roof and the trunk and the wing. But um, it shouldn't be too bad. It only took me about 10 minutes to wet sand the hood. So it's just basically wet sanding it, cleaning it off, and then running my knife tape, running more. So. I'm going to show you guys a video of what it kind of what it looks like on the hood and roof and then what it looks like on the hood now and then um, I bought a new tripod so my tripod's holding my camera that's why I'm in the video usually I'm not in the video because I don't have a cameraman so I don't have I only have two hands I can only do so much but um, I'm gonna try to get this you know download some program that I can splice the video together because I'll make a video when I'm done so I'd rather not post one video and then post a second video. I'd rather do one full video. So we're gonna see. So we'll see at the end of this if, if it just continues on to the rest of the video or if you guys watch the second video to find out how it looks when it, when it came out. But again, I'm just gonna show the, show the hood roof trunk and then I'm gonna cut the video and I'm gonna start working because you know these cars don't wrap themselves. So. Thanks for watching and check this out and then stay tuned for the, uh, the finished product after we've had to MacGyver and make things work so that they look good. So here's the hood that we already started sanding, which it might not look great, but it feels way better than it did. Now here is the roof, and this is all texture. You can hear it. It's my finger, and that's why you see all this, is that's, that's, that's the, the vinyl bad. 
So we're gonna wet sand all that. And let's go over here. So now here, I'm not sure you're getting, you can, you can hear this, but my finger's really not doing anything. You see I'm not making those white streaks anymore. Still got a little bit of sanding to do here and there to make it smooth. I'm more of like a perfectionist, so I, even if it was not gonna show, I wanna make sure that it's, you know, it's smooth. But again, listen, and you can see my finger where it's just, that's just all bad. And then, same thing on the trunk. I actually did a video before this and the video stopped, so that's my explanation of the video before. But that's how you can show it's bad. Like, vinyl should not do that. Hear that? As opposed to like the paint. So when it's done, when I'm done sanding it, it should feel like, it should hear it sound like this. Not like that. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the, uh, it's either it's gonna lap into the next part of the video, the final product, or it's you're gonna have to watch the second video. Either way, thanks for watching. See you soon.